G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are cold and shivering, but we are back for another day in Undead Legacy. I am a long way from home, a long bloody way from home from the safety of my lovely pine forest base, or even my uh, my desert base as well. I'm down in the cold stuff, trying to pretend like I'm not turning into an icicle. There is the morning charm though, please give me those warming sun rays, I desperately need them. But today is a big day, it's day 33, the day 35 horde isn't too far away, and I've still got some things I want to do in the winter town before I head back. It's uh, Trady Potato restock day, so Trader Ellen's going to cop a visit at some point today, but I also need to get all of the gubbins that I've stored in here and try and stack them into my wonderful 240 that's... Oh, I can probably make that jump too. My little 240 that's down there through the roof and take everything back home. I right, decided the day 35 is going to be the last horde I spend in the pine forest. That was my starting base. It was fine for what it was, but it's time for me to pick up all my gubs and head out into the desert. I like my desert base more. It's next to Trader Jen. If I'm ever going to win her back, I at least need to be somewhere accessible for her, or she's just going to stay with Mustache Man upstairs. So those are the goals for the next couple of days. But, given it's early in the morning, I need to chuck away some of these things from breaking apart the window and get cracking on with my adventures. Time's ticking away. Ah, oh, I was <laughs> I was all confused. I'd forgotten that I'd unloaded all of my stuff out of my boxes here and chucked them into 240 already. So, just make sure that everything is gone. Yes, it has. All right, I'll leave you here for another day and I'll get cracking on. Don't leave any food behind. Firewood, cooking pots, that could all come with me. Okay, well, time to um put the theory to the test. Huh, straight down. Love your work. If you just pile through the windscreen, you don't break your legs like you're in a bloody action movie where cars are apparently soft and springy like a mattress. You are not close to being over and covered though yet, so you're still good. You can hold on to all of that. The only issue being you have no space left inside you. I didn't anticipate that. All right, I'm right on the nipple. What can I move out of the way so I can take everything with me today? I'll tell you what, actually, because I do have so much good stuff in here, let's sort by value. Oh, people were telling me in the comments that headlights were a good way to make money. I didn't realize that were that good. They're the most valuable item I have out of all of my inventory. More valuable than Vindicator shotguns, lever action rifles, and tier C tacky boys. All right, apparently a headlights are a good way to make dosh. Thank you to all the comments who pointed that out to me then. I did read, I just didn't think it was that legit. Um, not really much. So what I'll do, I'll jump into you. But before I go, I might even just clear out the garage down here because I'm going to leave my 240 around. It needs a nice safe garage to be holed up inside of. I might go see Trady first, see what I can sell, free up the space in the car because I want to raid that JW house uh, down to the south on the way out of the winter biome. Still want to see what's out there for me to high level uh, TOI, POI. Take what I can, go back home and get prepped for the horde. Not going to bother patching the hole in the ceiling. It's my cheeky deeky escape route, so that's all fine. Let's pull on out and go see Ellen. Nice and early in the morning. There's a lot of zombies about. Jeez, the winter biome is just not here to fuck any spiders at all. It's only here to fuck me and all eight of me legs. It shows up with a whole bloody concord of Muppets. And I just don't know how to deal with them. I don't really have the weapon for all that kind of stuff right now. Yeti still scared the shit out of me. And I'd rather not have to fight them all the time. All right, Ellen, let's just pull you up right out the front. I'm not going to bother pulling my car down into the little death trap that is your entryway. Last time I was down here, all sorts of nightmares followed me down. So not going to do that. Just double tap all the doors to sleep right on through. XP gogs are on. Make sure I've got my cheeky little badger out. Here's the badger, isn't it? Yeah, the badger 44 out and about. You can go into them. I'm missing something. I don't exactly know what it is, but okay, sure, whatever. Didn't grab all the valuables out of my car because I want to come and see if we've got any sugar buds first. Nice. Grab you. Don't want really to the rest of you then. Okay, let's see what we can sell. See how we can make some money. And more importantly, free up some inventory space. There really isn't much of anything that I want to sell, really. A couple items and clothes and things I've been holding on to just to go and, like, pour it off whenever I can. But not really worth using the sugar buds for, so I don't think I will. Uh, everything else in here, I don't think there's anything really particularly scrappy. Don't need old Sham Sangers, though. They can just piss off into the frozen tundra, feed them to a bear or something. Although, that's probably why there's so many goddamn animals out here. Everything else here, though, relatively useful. I can actually chuck you into there, though. That'll free up a spot. Whack you in. Cheers, knackers. And put you back in the trunk again. Open that. In you go. So, doing all of that, all of that has given me, what, two... Come on, game, stay with me. Three spaces at the bottom. 
Not a, not particularly great, but enough for now. What I would actually love, though, can I help? What you. Do you want from me? Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, you could piss off and let me chat to Alan for a second. I'd love a meal. I'm really bloody hungry, and I don't really have the means to feed myself right now. So if you could just hook us up with a cheeky snack. Now, you're a snack, but one that I can actually take home with me because you're clearly out of my league. Uh, that would be all wonderful. Time charges, always need them. Only 100 bucks a pop as well. I'm kind of poor, but that's all right. Definitely take them with me. And it's on my... Oh, triple storage pocket mod for $1,100 redos. That might even be worth me using a, a sugar butts for. And another in for some for eight grand, 160. Not even close as, uh, to being as good as my current one, though. I might just buy you flat out for a grand. Yeah, nah, thank you. I know I like I have a lot of sugar butts candy. I could use more willy nilly, but I'm too paranoid for vanilla that they never show up ever again when you really bloody need them. Plus, you got a bunch of books. Yeah, maybe I should have popped it. See oh, you I'll, soon. I'll pop them now. <laughs> Mistakes have been made, but that's okay. That's why you do all your research before you start buying shit. Give me all the books. It wasn't quite a waste from not buying them from Trader Ryan the other day. Not much food in you though, is there? All right, buy that one. You can take those ones back. Another thousand back to me. 250 bucks there. And there we go. So I only lost two grand, but I think it was worth it. I'll check Maxton as well. See what he's got to offer me. Seeing as he jumps on me every time I walk through the door. A little bit enthusiastic. Got to play it a little bit cooler than that. If you want me to actually pay attention to you. Uh, Renegade, no. Titanium Knuckle Schematic, also no. A couple of copy crossbows and not really much else. Carry uh, on. I will. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm just going to leave now. All right, so got all that. Got the triple storage pocket mods, which can go... You've got a single, you've got a triple, you've got a single. Who doesn't have pockets right now? Everyone's got pockets right now? Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to upgrade one of the singles then. Modify you. You're the tier D one. Which one were you? A tier E. D is better than E. I still remember some of my alphabet at the very least. Swap you over like that. Okay. That's going to give me 286 carrying capacity. Should I check that before I went in though? That's plus 6.7. Uh, you, what were you doing for me? Plus 21. Yeah, not even close. Not even bloody close. Carry on. Let's go. It's going to chuck those pockets straight into the booty boys here just to free up the space. In you go. And then put everything away back into me car. Like that. Like that. No, I need you to stay with me. Uh, I guess just there then, I suppose. Having, like, so many things as, like, my everyday carry kind of stuff is kind of confusing me. I'm not really used to it, but I'm getting there. Got five time charges, which people in the comments were telling me that I should really be saving those for things that I can't pick open. It's like, regular stuff, like, um, wall saves or, like, cars or whatever. I should just use regular lockpicks for, which makes sense to boost my lockpicking level. But the big boys, like the gun safe and whatnot, that's when I should be using my time charges, which, in fact... I didn't mark them on the map, did I? I didn't mark them on the bleeding map. Wasn't there like gun safes around here somewhere that I couldn't get myself into? Or was that... I forgot where that was. I forgot. Was it the police station? Might be worth a gander, actually. Might be worth a squeeze to see if it was the place. Somewhere had a, a locked gun safe around here somewhere. And I've just forgotten where it was. Maybe it was my house as well. I don't even bloody know. Nah, it wasn't in here. I've already grabbed all of the stuff through here. You were definitely picked last time. Look at the crack. Uh, yeah, empty gun rack and still empty gun rack. So, wasn't this joint, but I did leave a desk unlooted. So, you, really quickly. Do I have the right goggles on? I do. Uh, that one there will do. Auto pick. Got plenty of bobby pins. Takes a while to get into it, but that's okay. Swap the goggles and have a gander. Just a shirt. Scrap you and I'll take the yellow cream couple of things around I left behind. That's poor form by me. Usually better than that. My loot feed is getting blunt. Yeah, look, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it was. Maybe it was even like the cafe. Someone please remind me where that gun safe was so I can come back and get it another day because I haven't got the foggiest of a sausage of where it was this time around. Um, That can go into there like that. Don't need the coffee beans. Okay, play on up quiet. Let's carry on our journey to squeeze through one of the gaps at the end of the road like that. Head on out through the soft stuff. I had to go and grab the big POA out here. Oh, that's a big bear. I don't like the winter. As soon as I get out of the winter, the better I'll feel. Just being out here at all makes me feel really uneasy. Oh, it wasn't the JW house at all. It was like the, the radar house. I don't even know what you call this place, but it's the one that's got like the big loot room at the top that's also full of zombies. So that could be a bit of a problem. Grab your eggs. I'll check your letterbox as well. No fun subscriptions. 
Okay, well, I've got shotgun rounds. I've got sniper rounds. I've got my UMP in case I get into some real strife. Plus my crossbow to get me through. I've got a fair whack of an armory on me, so this should be okay. The problem is, though, I'm the Muppet holding the trigger. And that's the biggest problem for anything I'm doing. Going nice and slow, or it's as slow as I can. I don't think I've got the bullet that lets me walk over the trash and the ground without making a noise. Oh, fuck. So if I can do it as sneaky deaky as possible, that would be better for everybody. I think that works so- Oh, jeez, it did wake someone up. Loza got stuck in a deck by a thick, juicy booty, and old mate came running like it was bloody Jumanji. Can't really say I blame you, though. <laughs> anyway, trying to push on. Uh, let's just open you. I know I'm wasting bolts by doing that, but I'm hopefully it's going to work out for me. Was there someone else? No, just a suit jacket. I'm just paranoid as shit right now. Found a rolling pin. All right, well, if I'm going to go bake myself a cake, then at least I have the opportunity to do that now. Anything else to loot around here? There's all this stuff. I can hear quite a lot of hubbub up on the surface, so I don't want to stick my head out there too soon. Sounds like a mountain lion's using a lot of zombies as a chew toy. Uh, were you hiding something? Yes, kind of. And it sounds like someone's groaning at me again. Nuts and bolts and headlock. Oh, God. Random ferals can only mean one thing, and that's a wandering horde outside. Yeah, that'll hold them. <laughs> if that's what's waiting for me out there, then time is definitely of the essence and I need to skedaddle nice and quickly. Ooh, yep. All right, there's noises coming from everywhere, so I can't really tell what's coming for me other than a bunch of Bernie boys. Almost got the triple up. Didn't quite make it work, but I can finish them all off with my lovely clubby. Not quite. Oh, he lifted his hands a bit. I was like, yeah, nah, Jigglypuff, not happening today. Close the door behind me so no one sneaks up on me again. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, there's more coming. There's more coming. I'm in a bit of strife. Uh, no and no. Jeez, I'm getting real loud with the shotgun, which isn't particularly clever given all the things that are waiting for me up the top. And they're coming through this way as well, back from the way that I came in. So, alrighty, righty then. Turns out closing doors does dick all, but... Probably, probably still a good practice to be in, so they're just going to get real jiggly about it. It's, oh, man. There's so much coming my way. Try and conserve your ammo, because you'll need it later on. Last time I took on a big POI, I fucking died. So I hope we can make it through this time around. Yeah, nah. And, oh, I pressed the button by accident. All right. If you want the shotgun, I'll give you the bloody shotgun. Oh, it's, it's bad. This is bad. There's a bloody biker, which I'm super not enthusiastic about, because that's... What did me in last time? Shoot you in the head, shoot you in the dick, and damn right, you're down for the count after that. Right, quick, we reload this. Now, with a bike arm, I've got to sit you down because I can't penetrate your arm with the shotgun, and that's like my catch all for all of my problems. Nice, better. Okay. Are we alright? No, we're not alright. There's still more coming. Up you get, and down you get, please. Nice. Shotgun's getting leveled up, so they're doing even more damage again. Where's the rest of them, though? They're still coming! All right, look, I can't wait down here forever. Chuck the loot and gogs back on and grab you. Just regular cardboard box with some dosh in it. All right, cheers, knackers. Let's keep on pushing up. If I get out of the basement, they can come from more directions at once, which is a little bit concerning, but hopefully I can just faff my way through it more ass than class and sort it out eventually. One into you and one into you. Make sure no one's coming up behind me. No, we're all gravy. Missed you up, gotcha, and you need one just to finish you off if you wouldn't mind. Good, okay, as long as I'm thinking of moving on my feet, hopefully we'll be okay. Excuse me, knackers, I just need to quickly load up a bolt and put my bolt probably where you really don't want it. <laughs> oh, everyone got really mad about that, and probably rightly so, pull out your fucking UMP, please. Put you down, are you dead? I think you are. Man, the UMP just feels really bloody good. Close that door behind me again. Definitely one of my new favorite guns. I don't know, any gun that's got a base in real life in this game just gets me a little bit fizzy. Loot and specs are on. Check what old mate had for me. A cornbread recipe, but not the cornbread itself. Listen, I'm really bloody hungry. If you wouldn't mind shopping out a cheeky snack, I'd be very appreciative of it. Because right now, oh fuck! I'm doing nothing but digesting my own insides and murdering a bunch of zombies. That was really close. Buddy Ninja Sense got me through it. I came out just to dispatch a couple of zombies out here because I'm making too much noise, but that looks... There's someone out here too, isn't it? Oh, God, it's you. I'm... Can't yeah, fucking stopped on. I'm relying on my, um... What do you call it? On my melee a little bit too much. Someone is so hungry and stamina is so cooked. Why can't I climb this trellis? Because I'm looking at that. 
Looks bloody suspect to me, don't you think? If I go back in here, um, do, you do you reckon there's something up there? I reckon there might be. Well, if I can't climb the trellis, I'll climb something else. You give me some ladders. Always love a cheeky retractable ladder. All the way up to there. We'll see what's going on on the roof up here. Is there a whole part of this POI I've just never seen before? Oh, maybe. Well, we'll give you a little squeeze, open up and see what's going on. Maybe it's just the roof, maybe it's something fun, but... Mm, oh no, it's somewhere I'll be coming through later. Okay, never mind. Back down we go. The good news is that finally there's a, shit. Oh god, you're very close. There's a little bit of peace and quiet around here, so I can actually do my normal thing and rave like a normal Muppet. Uh reload. You again, you were just hanging out in the corner there, waiting for me to slip up. What? Like I'm not gonna waste any more crossbow bolts. Oh, you're not actually like a zombie closet. Okay, fair whackers, knackers. Empty glass jars. Where the hell are all the snacks? Feel like people are laughing at me and taking the old P155 because I'm hungrier than a bee in pollen season and I can't find anything. Holy shit. That's a problem. That's a big problem. That's a lot of ferals that came charging around the corner. Make sure you're dead. Make sure you're even more dead out. Loza, please piss off. Now is not the time. Oh, that was some severe puckerage. Ever heard like the sound of like the drain is like the last little whirlpool gets sucked out? Like that kind of noise? That's the noise that I just made, but only my seat cushion heard it. Uh, I need to slap you on to me and get some health back. Need to get some food for myself right as rain again. That was not a good feeling. That was a lot of ferals. Maybe raiding this place was a bad idea, but I'm committed now. Once I've made a bad decision, I can't go back on a bad decision. Oh, yes, chicken ration. Put it in my face and let me gargle it all about. Scrap you as well. Scrap that one. A lot of random gummons. I just don't really need on me right now. My water's fine. Food is the only issue. We're about to raid the kitchen. So, fingers crossed there's something juicy for me in here. Check the bag for honeycomb bandos boots. Scrap that. Scrap that and just take the honeycomb instead. Anyone in the pantry? No? Any food in the pantry? Yes. <laughs> it's not much, but hey, at this point, I'm getting desperate. I'll take anything. The kitchen was thoroughly disappointing, but finding those rations gave me just enough sustenance to get me through the next little bit. At least I bloody hope so anyway. This is the bit that I saw before. Something sounded big in here. Sit the fuck down. And you know what? I'm just gonna rinse and marinate me chips all in your goo while Omar over here struggles with the wall. Fucking the snapshot in Old Mate's chinny chin shit like it's gonna blow my bloody house down. Not a lot satisfies me anymore since Jed left me, but that one might catch me about as close as I've ever been. Really not in the mood to deal with pigeons, so let's put one through you nice and suppressed and quiet like and one through you as well. One of them woke up. That's all good though. They're stuck on the gutter. Well, I'm not going to get on the ladder and go and clear out, am I? Come on, come down here. Perfect. Up and over. Fly ball, but probably for six, so we're all good there. Oh, I missed my cricket bat. That was a good bat that lasted me a long time. Piss off, Loza. The club is coming into its own, though. I know I spent all those resources making myself the sword, but just can't go past the club. Swing faster, swings harder, and... Ooh, oh, shit. Does the job. A whole fucking truck engine? Like that, yeah, that's good and all, but I have to lug that shit back home with me. That poor 240, the suspension's already screaming. If I remember my POIs correctly, there's some books to be gotten through this wall. Quickly bust our way through. I mean, I suppose, actually, I mean, oh, given it's under legacy now, let's take that one. Take that one. Just clear up the doorway. I can then scrap you for paper. That's all gravy and pick my way into this. There we go. Ah, that's much better. I love being able to pick doorways now. Makes my life so much easier. Pop you open. Uh, I do have the right goggles on, so what's in the bookshelf? Just... B Ugh. Gross. Hi, oh, guys. What's that over there? Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. I scrapped the for SD cards. What a shame. Also, a couple of books to not detonate landmines, but I've already know that one, so scrap them both. That's all fine. We'll just see what's on the other side of this one as well. Will that break the... No, not quite. Okay, that's fine. Get you out of the way. Just make sure all this is good and done. But also, anything in you? Any food for me? No, but more importantly, I can then pop open this death trap up here so future me doesn't fall through it again. Got a rusty cleaver as well. Are you... You're better than my hunting knife. 
So can I still use that to um, like, like harvest animals and stuff like that? I assume so, given it's the same kind of uh, tier of weapon. I'm going to lock you in place so I can sort that out another day because time is ticking away and I still need to get home. I still need to go and see Trader Potato back in the pine forest. Jen's a bit too far away. But, I mean, I didn't really... Oh, yes, some pears, actually. Put you straight in my face. Did I mention this at the top, but I did say that the Day 35 Horde would be my last Horde at the Pine Forest Base. Because after that, I mean, whether I survive or not, really, I'm picking up all my gubs and I'm heading out to the uh, the desert biome. I want to go and live with my sweet kick... Oh, jeez, g'day, bud. My sweet kick-ass garage out there. Time to move on with my life. Anyone hiding out in here? No, we're all good, but... You need to die. There's bloody ferals all over the shop, and I hate it. Getting into the thick of it now. I can already hear footsteps from somewhere. This might be a job for the old XP gogs. Flip you over and... It's going to say charge on him, but then the game lagged out. I got real anxious about it. I think he died. Yeah, I got the XP pops. So that's good. Old mate's flopping out of the cupboard over there as well. If you want to make your way around, I'm more than happy to dish out some pellets right into your scone. That'll work. So good. Oh shit, less good. See, I've been saying for a little while now that the max level of shotguns where it gives you like the ability to destroy a city block with one pull of the trigger is the worst bonus for reading all of the shotgun books. I bloody hate it so much that I wish they changed it. In fact, is it still the same in this one? Collectibles, shotgun messiah. You can one shot most wood blocks, bolt craft shotgun ammo. So like the one shot most wood blocks is the worst perk. I hate it so much to the point where sometimes I just don't read the the last of the book series. What I wish it was. Oh, a better ratchet. What are you doing? 67 for a cost of 20 compared to... Yeah, no, nah, not even close. Not even bloody close. Cheers, big ears. Chucking into there. Take the rest of that as well. What I wish it was... I've said this before. I'll say it until it bloody happens. At least I hope it does. I wish it turned um, like zombies... Like, remember like Grunt Birthday from Halo where you headshot a grunt and you get like that... Hooray! With all that confetti and streamers and stuff like that. I wish it was that for zombies. You headshot a zombie with your shotgun. You get streamers in a celebration instead of destroying buildings. Or at least like the ability to make a mod that did that. And plus you can make the mod to destroy buildings if you wanted to, but a couple different options wasn't as locked in like that. And I know that it could be a thing because that's part of the Twitch integration is that you can actually turn on that kind of thing. If only it was part of the vanilla game, it's so bloody good. First aid kit recipe. I live in hope that one day we'll get that. The ability to make like special mods for reading all the books, but you know what? Maybe one day, but until then, I'll just have to deal with not reading all the books instead. It's just so satisfying to pop noggins. Like, what that celebration? Gonna chuck on the nerdy gogs again, because it's about to get real bloody heckers up here. Yeah, there you go. Please don't fuck me over hitboxes. Lovely. Someone heard me, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just a loza. That's fine. I've reloaded the crossbow, ready for the next stint. Bonk you down. Bonk you again. Cheeky double bonk on loza. Just the way I like it. I can kill you, I think. What did I just say? What the fuck did you even hit? Like, that's a pretty open window if ever I've seen one. Let's try you instead. Nice, easy, juicy headshot. Okay. Oh, I couldn't hit you before, but I can definitely hit you now. Get you sliding down the super fun happy slide down to Mr. Burns' vampire lamb. Up you get. Stop cuddling, Loza. There you go. Loza blew your mind. Wasn't me at all. <laughs> Having a good day today. Having a bloody peach of a day. Who else is here? Anyone else? Take that back again. There's a whole bunch more waiting for me through there. It's going to go nice and slowly if I can. Look at old mate, though. Just relaxing. Ah, oh, damn it. How did that wake you up? Oh, he took the round for his friend as well. You kind of got to admire it a bit. Old mate bodyguard over here dove in front of the bull and protected the man in the business soon. Maybe that's someone important then. I don't know, but excuse me. Can you... There you go. Right underneath you. You got your hip thrust on and it cost him his life. Wouldn't be the first time for you, would it, sweetheart? All right. Come on. Shit. Let's come on. Fuck balls. I missed the swing. Close the one behind me and close that one behind me as well. I'm going to quickly reload you. I'm going to bust out the UMP if I can. Fuck, I hate bikers so much. Oh, the wrinkle. I kicked like a fucking pissed off mule. There you go. Put you down. Finish off if I can. And it sounds like everyone's awake upstairs. No. Just, just fucking nah, mate. You giant soggy kebab. I ain't having your shit today. Make sure all my guns are reloaded. I fucking love that M14, dude. It just satisfies me so much. Anyone else in here? Nah, we're all looking good and gravy. Nice. Eye candy on. 
Potentially contentious decision, but I stand by it. Looting Gog's back on because this POI is a high level. Loot stage 176. Not going to turn that down. Plus, we've got this one. That's what I got my time charges for. Whack it on nice and quickly and see what you got to offer me. In we go. Modified police pack. It's a tier C. It's only worth 500 smackers, so that wasn't worth it at all. Bit of a shame. Some more rounds as well. I may leave here rather disappointed, eat you straight away, and leave the bloody murky water behind. Come on, please. I did so much good work to get through all that. You've got to reward me just a little bit. Tech junkie, no. Take the battery. I'm going to be disappointed, aren't I? I'm going to be bloody disappointed, aren't I? Give me some food. No! Come on! I'm now cucumber just a little bit by 10 uh, kilos, but that's okay. Nothing in you. Anything in you. Just search all of the gubs all the way back through. You know what? I'm going to call it. I don't think this POI was worth it. That was a lot of near-death experiences to get some pretty bang fucking average loot at the end of it. Admittedly, the hardened chest should have given me something more than what it did. That's where I've been let down the most, but it wasn't even like a large ammo pile. It was a small ammo pile, not even a medium. So pretty disappointing all around. Some oil, a bone. I've already been boned. I don't have to give you any more of that, but I feel like you're really driving the point home now. I can see my car out the window just taunting me. I'm way down to shit house and I can't get out there. I don't even know if I can even drive the car at this point, though, because I'm so bloody overloaded. Potentially, I'll get all the way out there and the game's going to be like, nah, the suspension can't handle your fat ass. And I'll be like, oh, well, okay. Could have told me that in a bit more of a gentler way, but I guess not. Out this way, I think. There we go. Out into the bacon sunshine. Right, that, I'm disappointed about that. I was hoping for even just a little bit more, to be honest. Open you, chuck whatever I can in. How you looking? The truck engine is what worries me so much. I weigh almost 300. You've got 250 left on you. 740 out of 760. I'm right on the cusp, but the cusp is still drivable. All right, let's get out of here. Let's head back from where we came. Let's go see Trader Rex and sort my life out a bit. Oh, mountain lion. Stay away from you, though. I really wish I remembered where that bloody gun safe was. I know there's one out there somewhere. That's going to irk me forevermore. Not sure. Not bloody sure. Either way, home is in this general direction, so we'll just pick... I was going to say pick a path and follow, but it's all pretty flat terrain out here. Pretty smooth sailing, even if a little bit slippery. Oh, there's actually some dirt poses and stuff. Oh, God. Very... Very slippery. Got a full-on tank slapper going there. Didn't have the skill to control it either. Ambition well ahead of adhesion. Where am I headed? Not even close. I was going to say, yeah, down there. There's a there's a derpo somewhere around there. Not too far off the beaten path, actually. So maybe I'll go and have a squiz and keep my feet off the turbo pedal. I found a little path through the woods. A lot of birds that surround that I should probably be stopping for to grab, but... That's a future Josh problem. The sun is setting and I need to get back home. I wanted to do some work on the base today, but now, as always, it's going to be a frantic build. Oh, we're going up this way, actually. A frantic build before the horde shows up. Cheeky bird's nest. What have you got? Of course, the one that I do stop for has no exited. Got sold up a creek without a paddle on that one. Come on, surely. Give me a couple of spheres. There's one. Grab you as well on the way through. Nope, nothing. That one is a fuckload of feathers. Or apparently the birds are molting more than shitting. <laughs> I mean, I guess... <laughs> Eggs aren't bird shit, Josh. What? What wise has got crossed in my head? That's not quite how it goes. I can't quite take my 240 up this steep of an incline, so we're going on the old peg legs for a little bit. Yes, I was just thinking to myself, I'm moving heckin' slowly. I need some bonds, mate, two points to spend. I need someone to show up so I can bonk him in the face and get my speedy boy armor buff going. Uh, is it around here somewhere? It should be. I'm close enough to the marker, I think. Ooh, what's, what's, hang on. What's that? Uh, wherever it is, over this way? Is that the box that's just lost its streamer? No, it's an iron node. There was a comment once upon a time that told me if I look for like a yellow dot on the map that it might be the derpo, but wasn't that one. May still be true, but it's, I'm just not doing it right, which wouldn't surprise me at all. Look at all the bird's nests though. Give me. It's hard to see. I'm pretty sure I just saw it through the trees up here. Might have been just like... Maybe it was a reflection of the breeze. Oi, piss off, dickhead. I'm busy right now. I'm pretty sure I saw the plume just up here. Is that... Is that it on the hill? No, that's a rock. It was over here somewhere. I'm almost sure of it. 
or I'm getting led down a garden path. So I'm, I'm, oh, that, there it is. Yes, I did see it. Good job, eyeballs. Actually following through for me for a change. A couple more eggies as well. Bloody bonza. All right, it's quarter to eight. Make this quick, please. Supply crate. What have you got for me? 75 iron plating, which is bloody the teeth, but it has weighed me down, which is a bit more of a problem than I thought I was going to have to deal with. All right. Slide back down the mountain here, all the way back to my car, which is a fair old whack away. No more eggs out of you, though. Surely. Surely. How are there so many birds that's around and no eggs in them? The chicken's got to do better. The sun is setting, but that's all good. And finally back to the 240. Look at as spunky as the day I found you. And I'm now over... I'm now overburdened. I'm overburdened by the fucking iron... Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, ball sacks. Can I put some things into you and that's going to, like, make it easier? I'm not sure. Does that, like, have, like, a weight advantage at all? No, I'm too heavy. I'm too fucking heavy to drive my car. I'm stuck out in the middle of Yonkers. Um. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what to do about this. Um. Fuck. It's getting late, and I'm trapped out in the middle of nowhere. What do I do? What are you going to do, Josh? What's your plan of action here, dickheads? I ain't got a fucking foggiest of an idea. Please. Please give me a solution. I don't know. All right, look. Here's my plan. It's not a very good one, but it's a plan. There's an ambo just out here. I was going to chuck it into like some garbage or something I found on the ground, but there's an ambulance that's there, which is a nice, easy thing for me to come back to at a later date. I'm still carrying this stupid bloody truck engine on me, which is the entirety of my problem right now. You. You are untouched. That's fine. Call you the Veronicas. You're about to get all up in it. Give you a quick little gander. See what you got for me. Not a lot. That's fine. But can you please hold on to... Like, just that. Just that will be more than enough. I need to mark you. Just go this one. And we're just going to go like that. I'll just remember that that ammo right there has all the gubbins in it. Jump back into 240. Head back home. Come back out here tomorrow to grab that what I needed again. Oh, how the hell am I going to move house, by the way? If I can't carry you one raid's worth of gubbins back home again, how am I going to move house? I might need a purple van. Goodbye, ambulance. I'll come back and see you again. I'm a little bit too hungry to plan ahead, though. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. This is going to take me... Oh, shit, treat! <laughs> Probably shouldn't be looking at the map while you're driving around, careening around corners at 60 clicks, but we managed to slide our way through it. No harm, no foul. Lesson probably not learned. Right, back up the big hill. Back home again as my frame rate goes to us. There you go. There you go. All right. Bit of an adventurous day. Couple of hiccups along the journey, but we managed to make it work. Good to be back in my own neck of the woods again. Here we go. Home sweet home, if you can even call it that. Don't even have a bloody garage out here. It's just a bloody povo sticks, but well, we're going to have to make it work anyway. But we can now use... My wonderful little <laughs> encumbrance break a little path here. My human conveyor belt. So I'll take all of you. This does break the game a bit, but that's all right. I'll just take my hands off the keyboard and let it think for a little while. There you go. I am going to leave, though, my bike in you, which is just kind of good practice. Still can't lock a bloody slot in my car, but it is what it is, I suppose. Put you into them. Up we go. Who cares if I weigh... 600 kilos. Oh, oh shit. Oh, more than half a ton, but that's all good. Slide on across. Who needs legs when you got ladders? Now we're thinking with portals. L ladders. My storage box is bloody chock a block as well, so that's not particularly fantastic. Got so much other gubs on me, too. I'm still weighed down to shit out, so just chuck everything else into there, and I guess we'll deal with it another time. Oh, man. Look at all the ammo and shit as well. I'm doing pretty okay. The only problem at the moment is the fact that I just don't know how to put all these wonderful things to use. So the heaviest stuff is up the top. That's fine. Give me you, and I'll chuck it into the appropriate box. In fact, can I? Can I actually give me all of that? Oh, it's having R was a bold decision. Back to 600 kilos, but chuck whatever I can away into you. Chuck whatever I can away into you as well. And then put everything back again. This is going to try and get everything sorted out, which just takes a little bit to do. There's a couple of zombies down below just having a bit of a problem with all of the world in front of them. So I'm going to do, do them a favor and... I almost missed that shot, but we're fine. And wait for it. That one there as well. Did I kill you? Listen, that's about as clean a kill as you're ever going to get. Nice and suppressed. Never saw it coming. Just, I was going to say alive, but undead one second, proper dead the next. Was there more? I'm pretty sure... Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure there would have been more. 
God, I hate this base. I, I get attached to stupid things in this game all the time. This base right now, nah, I don't feel anything towards it. I'm more attached to the base in the desert, which is where I want to be in a couple of days, at the very least. Tell you what, look at me being a great citizen of the neighborhood and just cleaning up the entirety that I can see up here. Just sitting in my me, in me little tower and firing down all the unhappy Muppets cruising about. Like, like the ultimate version of Neighborhood Watch. You know, you see a problem, deal with a problem like their hoodies hanging out of the fountain. All right, yeah, no, we're all fine. Nice, good job, Maeve. I'm <laughs> busy sorting out my inventory and sorting out the world as well. I'm gonna chuck my steel greatsword into the box. I'll keep it with me. I want it to be good. I just don't trust it right now. I trust it significantly less than my steel club, but even then it gets me to some strife every now and again. There we go. Finally got some food for my face. 36 a pop. So what's that? 72 for two of them, which is about what I need to chuck two in. We'll go a third just because we bloody can and turn you off. My specialty is turning things off, so it's good to be able to do it again. Although, no, I can't. This is a first for me. I, I can't turn you off. Okay, I can't even take the fuel out of you either, so not really sure what's going on there, but alrighty done then. Just gonna set up burning all night long. You... Okay, I need to figure out what I want to sell tomorrow. I've got a fair amount of stuff to sell. I've got a treasure map I've got to read it out in the desert, so I'll hold on to that for the moment. What's that? That's like my worst enforcer. Yeah, that's my old one, 166 versus 172, so you can get sold. Tacky boy can stay with me. But the Vindicator though, I want to know if the Vindicator's any good. Maybe I should repair it and give it an upgrade and see what it turns out to be. You can chuck half a U away and half a U away as well. Save myself some weights. Yeah, we'll see what it does. It might be a waste of materials, but I'm curious now. It is going to use a fair whack of me steel though, and I need another car repair kit to... Well, there's the purple SUV. There's also the purple van, and I wouldn't mind having both of them. I'm not sure which going to have the better carrying capacity. I feel like the SUV is going to be better for, like, my normal rating and stuff when it's a bit too big for my 240. Still going to use the 240 as much as possible. But then, like, the van's good for moving house, which I still need to do. So, one of those is probably the correct option. Change you over to that one, though. <sighs> Maybe it's not worth it then. Maybe it's not worth it for now when I'm so lackluster on steel. But 155 as a tier a E... Do they give it? Hang on. Is there a way to see what it's going to give me at the end? I don't think so. That's a shame. I wish it told what it was going to be afterwards. Nah, it doesn't. Is it safe to assume like it's a 10 plus each level, which means it would be better than the Enforcer eventually? Smaller magazine size though? I don't know. Someone, can someone out there please tell me which one's going to be the better of the two? I'm going to hold on to it and not get rid of it just yet, but someone please tell me the Vindicator is going to be the tits, because I'd love to use it. I don't want to waste any of my steel repairing my steel clubs, so we'll just go like that. Use one of you. May seem expensive, but I stand by it. I need like six repair kits, I think it was, to get the car repair kit, so that's something to keep in mind for the future. You scrapped all of that. Thank you very much. Um, what was the last thing I wanted to do, though? Oh, I wanted to see, actually, what do I need for the next car repair kit? Car repair, not a mining cart, car repair kit. I need 19 more steel plates. One of the hardest steel plates to get two cars and three more wheels, which kind of sucks. So there's a way that we go to trailer wrecked and get uh, like the vet restocked so I can get the wheels off the trailer again, off the horse load. That would be wonderful. I need so much more steel plating though. And how far away is that going to be? You, steel ingots. Got some scrap steel, but not much. Okay, well, I can make one, so sure, craft you up. What about you, then? If I go plating, steel plating, I can't make any because I've only got the one ingot to go. This, uh, this is not looking particularly crash hot for me, to be honest. I need a bunch more iron as well to make myself any more steel ingots. Maybe that could be my job tomorrow. Like, yeah, I've got to fight the horde. Almost killed you in one, not quite. There you go. I've got to fight the Horde. I've got to repair my Horde base as well. If I have any time left over tomorrow, I might grab the cheeky Valk and head out to the Iron Mine and see what I can rustle up. Because I need the steel. I need the steel so bad. And then I know that there's the, the purple SUV over at the um, Parson Gas up there. So that's fine. There's also Bobby Boy's purple van. that might be able to nick off him too. So I can get both purple wheels going very quickly. All I'm missing is, yeah, like... 200 steel ingots. Oh, hang on, I, I can figure this out. I need 100 steel plates, which is that one, which is two steel ingots. So I need 200 steel ingots, which is going to cost me 
400 iron ingots. Fuck me, dead. The grind for iron sucks. And then having like, like it diminishes returns each time going down the plates. It sucks so much, camel dick. I hate it. Make sure I've got some more concrete on the craft. I There's not much like upgrades I can do to the base, I don't think, to make it better. Just like make sure that the walls are all nice and concrete and then not have any weak points like I did last time. I might potentially put in like a better platform for Sledgy Boy and maybe run a secondary ladder just as like a redundancy because I don't really trust that one line of ladders there. A couple of cops go boom and I'm in some serious strife. But I'll have to go through... Do those upgrades, go and see Trader Direct, get the shit out of the ambulance, and go and mine some iron, and try and push for my next set of car repair kits in the next episode. Fuck me dead. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. But I'll talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.